Four students were killed in this week's shooting. 17-year-old Madison Baldwin, 16-year-old Tate Meyer, 14-year-old Hannah St. Juliana, and 17-year-old Justin Schilling. Schilling, he died of his injuries yesterday. Three other people seriously injured in the shooting remain in the hospital, while another three students and a teacher are now at home recovering. Ethan Crumbly, a 15-year-old sophomore at the school, faces murder and terrorism charges. The Oakland County prosecutor says they have several pieces of evidence, including a video he recorded the night before the shooting, showing he planned this. Crumbly's dad bought the gun used in the attack less than a week ago. Uh, the prosecutor is considering filing charges against the parents as well. Tuesday's shooting brings to light a key state program that's existed for years with the goal of helping schools enhance their security. However, the state hasn't funded that program mm -hmm. for the past two years. Dana White is in the newsroom now with what could happen to it in the future. Dana. Teresa and Donovan, the Competitive School Safety Grant Program has been around since at least 2015. All of the money awarded is supposed to go towards strengthening security on school campuses. In 2015, $4 million in grants were handed out, but that changed after Parkland. After the school shooting there, where 17 people were killed, funding for the grant program increased to $25 million, according to the Detroit Free Press. More than 195 school districts received funding the following year, including Oxford Community Schools. The state sent them nearly $443,000. However, last July, state police sent a letter to school administrators telling them that the state legislature eliminated $10 million in funding for the program, effectively suspending it. That lack of funding also continued into this year, despite the fact that most schools returned to in-person learning. In the signed state budget for next year, legislators reintroduced funding, allocating $10 million for the program. Yesterday, members of the Michigan House appropriated Committee unanimous, unanimously approved a bill that would provide another $10 million to help districts pay for school resource officers. Half of that money would come out of federal COVID relief funds. Live in the newsroom this morning, Dana White, News 8. All right, Dana, thank you. Democratic lawmakers in the state are calling for stricter gun legislation like universal background checks and red flag laws to prevent future attacks like the one we saw this week. However, the uh, state's top Republican, Senator Mike Shirky, says now is a time to mourn and changes to gun laws should only be considered after looking at the facts of the case. But if we get obsessed with eliminating all risks, we will then develop and evolve into a country we won't, ex we won't recognize because we'll also have no freedoms. It's a balance. It's a very narrow road, and it's hard. And so, uh, you know, these kind of events keep that thing, keep those uh, thoughts in mind. Michigan State University held its first giant menorah lighting in the school's history last night. Those who organized the event dedicated it to the victims of the Oxford school shooting and their families. At the menorah lighting, we will remember those beautiful souls. Tonight, we will kindle a candle in their memory. MSU is also offering resources to students to help them process the trauma of this shooting, especially anyone with ties to Oxford. About 200 students at the university are from Oxford.